Now, everybody, in today's video, let me show you my new bay. And it's it's, <clears throat> it's the BAE 146. Not been a good joke. I know. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, you know, this weekend has been quite full of action for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We've had two big new add on plane releases. We've had, for example, the Mad Dog, very nice vintage plane. And on Friday, we've also had the Avrojet, the BAE 146, which people have been loving. Also, apparently, a very nice vintage jet here for the Flight Simulator. It costs 60 euros. You can buy this on the Just Flight store. And I mean, it says it in the title. It's supposed to be professional study level, which I mean, on a vintage, rather complicated and manual plane like this could get very fun. Let's check this out today. Now, first of all, when you buy this add on plane, you get quite a lot of versions from the 146 included. There's like the 100, the smaller version. There's the 100 CC2, which is supposed to be more of a private jet variant. As you can tell here, like a private plane. And we've also got the 200 and the 200 QC, which is meant for cargo. I don't even know what QC stands QC, for. Queen complex. For cargo. I don't know. We've got the QT. We've got the 300 and we've got another 300 QT. So, you know, cargo and passenger variants. Let's go ahead and get back into the 300 here now. You get a lot of liveries included here with this plane when you buy this, which I think is always very nice. No need to download anything extra. You've got everything included you need. And now back at London City, which is basically the home of the Avro. Let's go ahead and properly check it out here. Now, the cockpit, they've done this very nicely, of course. Most of the switches work here. Something that doesn't work here, though, are the circuit breakers, which is not professional at all. I mean, I use them all the time. <laughs> I mean, it would be very ridiculous to have the circuit breakers even added in, but that could be an option, right? So no, this is not 100% realism, but 99%, which is still scary on an old airliner like this one. <laughs> yes, old steam gauges, very old school flying, which is very nice. I mean, we don't really get to enjoy these kind of planes in real life anymore. I've also said this about the Mad Dog, so it's very nice that we have this in the flight simulator. Now, we've, of course, got the mandatory iPad here, but we can, uh, you know, interact with the plane. We can put out, you know, the doors, get the stairs out, which is very nice. Also, we can load some fuel in here, just stuff like that. And look, we can even rotate the iPad if we want to, which is just absolutely ridiculously useless. That's great to see. Anyway, things are looking good, and my god, this is a very beautiful livery. Now, of course, this add-on features other stuff that any add-on should have, you know, like a cabin, for example. It's not very nicely modeled, if I have to say. I mean, look at this one right here. But, um, honestly, who, who cares, really? By the way, is the lavatory texture, because that's really important. No, you cannot actually get into the lavatory. All right, that's a sh um, I'll take that back now. I hate this plane. Well, good. Anyway, let's maybe go back onto the topic of realism. This plane seems very good. I'm just turning this on. This plane is also a little bit strange to start up. It's a British plane after all, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Let's go and turn on the fuel pumps. Here we go. And now, of course, we need some mandatory power from the auxiliary power unit. Let's go ahead and start it up. Here we go. We've got some revolutions. All right. This is looking very good. Let's turn on the APU generators so we can use the power. And then it's time to turn on the avionics right here. This is just what we want. And we can see the screens turn on of this plane. Well, the few screens that we do have, like the MCDU. Now, that one apparently has been very nicely modeled after the Avro as well. So nothing to complain about here. This is okay. I mean, what, what am I saying? Okay, this is, this is really nicely made here. I mean, what can I say? All right. Anyway, it's time to turn on the APU bleeds, and then we can already turn on these four engines. Yeah, start master is on here. Let's go ahead and ignite it. And here we go. Engine start. Yes, there we go. Starter operating. And we can already see some revolutions coming in on the fourth engine. This is exactly what I want to see. Even though I do have a massive masculine urge to fly this plane with only two engines and see if it survives. But let's not do that today. Close those doors here before we set off. <laughs> Anyway, this is looking, this is looking rather good, this plane. I like the realism. It looks absolutely fine to me. Now let's see how it flies. Now, of course, we're going to cheat ourselves onto the runway. Who properly taxis in the flight simulators these days? Just cheat yourself. There we go. Right, let's go ahead and take off. All right. But this is really where the fun part even of the Avro jet begins, because this plane actually does have a lot of performance on its hands. Or wings, I guess wings. This plane is very fast. Here we go. Yeah, nice takeoff out of here. Where is it? Okay, that is... Oh my god, don't crash. Come on, you're supposed to be fast. Come on, you're... 
Plane flies in real life. Anyway, it's now time to put the landing gear up, which probably is going to look very nice. Yeah. The landing gear of the Avro looks very impressive, and so it does in the flight simulator. I like this very much. All right. Now, we can, of course, hear the sound of this plane. It's not that impressive, because the plane in real life doesn't sound super impressive. You know, it's a very quiet plane, really. Very nice one, though. There we go. Done the first takeoff on the Avro, and I like this. And you know what? We try to come in already for a landing, which is always interesting on the Avro. See these tiny little engines? They actually don't have any reverse thrust, which is something I always found interesting. I mean, this thing flies at London City. This thing needs to stop fast. For that one, we can see this right here. A proper, proper speed break. That, that's what I'm talking about right here. Yes, if you put the spoilers to max, this thing comes out, the air brake, and, um... This is, this is crazy. Let's come in for a bit of a landing. This will apparently make the plane stop at runways like this, London City. Now about this landing, is it going to be smooth or is it going to be hard? I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's London City, you know. There's an old saying there. Sometimes though, well, let's put it this way. I've had my smoothest landings in other places. <laughs> I'm going for a bit of a landing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and stop now. Full power. That's not gone very well. I'm sorry. But this plane, this plane handles nicely. You know what? This has been... I'm going to have some clapping in the back. Yeah, clapping. Good to hear. Very nice flying. Let me try to stop here as well, though, because we're not stopping very much. Come on. Yes, there we go. All right. London City Airport is enough of runway, which is a good thing, because this thing flies in real life. Anyway, this is rather good, and I'm actually kind of impressed by the handling, of course. You know, I've never flown this plane in real life, obviously, but I don't know why, but this kind of, for the first time ever in the flight simulator, feels like they have done some proper, proper modeling here. Like, they've not just copied the A320 included physics engine, but they've done some, some proper work. I like how this plane flies. Yeah, this is a really old style. This is, this is really good. Now, let's maybe try to do some proper performance testing right here. St. Bartholomew Airport. And for that one, we can maybe try... How about we use one of the cargo variants that are included? The 200QC. How about that one? All right. Now on the 200QC, you know, one of the eight included planes here. Looking good. This is apparently some sort of military plane. And I don't know what that is down here. Honestly, I don't even want to know what that is. Looking good. Let me check out the cockpit. Obviously, it looks the same. But I'm guessing the cabin should look a little bit different. All right. Because there, there's probably going to be none. Oh, okay. No, we have a bit of a cargo hold. This actually looks rather nice. Let's maybe try to come in for a landing now at St. Bartholomew down here. Runway's coming up. Let's do it. Now, we are very fast, but that's no problem for the air brake. Oh, it's going to stop us successfully and stuff. Hopefully. All right. Coming in for a landing now. Looking good. Let's do it. Oh, God. I mean, no problem for the Avro. This thing, uh... This thing doesn't need to be landed smoothly, let me just say that. Alright, you know what? This is not working. We're not stopping here. I mean, this was a very fast landing speed that I was at, but this thing is not a, that quick of a stopper, is it? Um... So we've crashed completely. Great. But yeah, you can definitely say this thing lands just as hard as the real Avro, which is something I very much like. Looking good here. Ooh, and we've got some elephant sounds. That is actually very nice. That's actually the first plane in the flight simulator that I've seen that has proper elephant sounds. That's actually pretty nice. Yes, but I like this. I like this one. You know, this might be a little bit biased, but I think, you know, this is probably one of the best releases we've had so far for the flight simulator. To me, also because the real Avro in real life is so cool of an airplane. Very exciting stuff. This is, you guys are going to have a lot of fun flying this for sure. So let's maybe try to take off here I'm, um, at this airport. I mean, these pods down here are probably not going to help very much aerodynamically, but let's take off. Let's go. Release the brakes. Let's do this. It's probably not going to work, is it? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. Yes! All right. There was a little bit of fence overrunning, but other than that, this has been totally fine. Honestly, there's not many features that I can see that are missing or something. That's like the whole point, really. Maybe something that could be added for like full study levelness is some sort of damage model. You know, what happens if you don't treat the engines right? Will they die? What happens if you fly into a flock of birds? You know, questions you just ask yourself every single day. No, but really, that would be something that is, of course, missing, but no proper add-on plane has really ever had that, right? So that's definitely forgiven. Again, 
Not much missing here. I like this very much. Not much I can say. You know, honestly, these new planes we've had are so good that I'm kind of sad now because I cannot, like, rant about them. This is good of a plane. So, yes, for $60 especially, this is a very, very good deal, I think. Very fair pricing. I can very much recommend the new bay. You can check it out. So, yeah, guys, um, thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. And look, if you're from Australia, no problem at all. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, The Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.